Hi, I'm Emily. I did my project on common pollutants effect on algae growth. My question was how do common pollutants affect algae growth in water sources? My hypothesis was fertilizer would increase algae growth, acid would decrease it. Methods and procedures. Basically what I did was I went to three different sources, got samples of the water, put common pollutants in the water in the water samples and observed it for 30 days. These are the, these are the results for the Andy Adams Pond sample. You can see here the control produced light stringy algae, the fertilizers produced large chunks of algae, and the acid rain produced mold instead of algae and it actually killed the small piece of algae that was in it to start with. Chinson Nature Park produced the same as the Andy Adams except for the fertilizers mostly grew on the bottom instead of large chunks of algae in the water. Acid rain also grew mold. Ogden River one is still in progress, that's why it only has 25 days. But the acid rain, you can see how dark the mold is in this one. And the Miracle Grow and Bone Mill both still produced algae. This one produced chunks, and this one's mostly just on the jar though. We started a new one for the Ogden River motor oil. You can see here, there's actually no evaporation over the 25 days, and it actually killed the bugs that were in there to start with. So my data in conclusion, I have a table here of the algae growth ranked on a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the most algae, 1 being the least. So you can see how oil and acid rain both both got 1s because there was no algae grown in them. Bone meal produced the most for all of them. miracle Grow was second with the control and horse poop changing things up a little bit. Here's the graph of my data table above. So my data supported my hypothesis because fertilizer increased the algae growth and the acid rain decreased it. It actually killed the bugs in the water samples for the acid rain and the Adams one had bugs in it and they actually died very quickly as well as the oil one that because they suffocated because there was no air and things couldn't get through. Also no sunlight. Uh, the algae growth was very small, so we couldn't weigh it, which is why we ranked it on a scale of 1 to 5. But it was very obvious which ones had the most algae growth. I think the acid rain is a topic that would be very helpful to research because it has such a bad effect on the environment. It can, uh, it can like, change up everything from the birds to the fish. Like, it's so important we keep our water sources clean. Um, people need to be aware that like just fertilizing their lawn could cause damage to the water sources if they live near one. Um, I think this is a very important topic today because pollution is a very big problem and like pollution getting into the water sources can kill so many things or cause overgrowth of so many things which can, ca which can cause many problems and I just think that it's very important that we keep our water sources clean and safe. Thank you!